It simply remains for me to thank my co-host, Nina. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Um, you didn't do anything interesting tonight? No, I don't think so. Not after last night. I'm too exhausted. Well, what did you do last night? I went to the Folie Berger. That's a coincidence. That's where Glenn Ponder went. I was there too, Yvonne. I was there. You were. Mm. My models were there. Who else the, was Glenn invited us all, the clowns, they were there. And, the clowns? Uh, yes, your, your security guard, Steve, he was there. He's, uh, I believe it. Yes, he's good, good friends with the clowns, I believe. He was there. And the band were there as well. The band? You, accordion man, were you there? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone except you, Alan. Glenn, why didn't you invite me? I left a message. Right, Glenn, I'm going to ask you a question. And I want you to give me an honest and truthful answer. Did you leave a message for me last night? No. <laughs> Thank you. Quite honestly, Alan, I didn't think they'd let you in. You know, there was a sign outside there saying, no jeans, no trainers, no sports casual wear. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn. <laughs> it's just a joke. Just a joke. Huh? Here's a good joke. Here's a good joke. So you like this one. There's this bloke called Glenn Ponder. He's playing jazz synthesizer in a Norwich wine bar. <laughs> in walks Alan Partridge. Alan gives him a big break on national television. Glenn's pleased. Glenn gets lippy. Glenn gets the sack. <laughs> what, what do you mean? You're sacked. You are sacked. I'm sacking you. In fact, it's happened. It's over. It's already ha You are a sacked man. You've been sacked. You're the subject of a sacking. I want you off these premises in ten minutes, knowing me, Alan Partridge, sacking you, Glenn Ponder. <laughs> Aha! And on that bombshell, it's time for me to say, knowing me, Alan Partridge, knowing you, Monsieur Testicle, <laughs> knowing you, Pantomime Cow, and knowing you, Ms. Ohi Ho Hi Ho. Good night, Arriva Dirce, and aha! Not you! Not you!